G'day Guardians, it's Matt here, and today I am showing you a Titan build that lets you explode everything into pieces. If you're still a hater of Elemental Wells, this build is going to convince you that they are the way. The Elemental Wells pair super nicely with the exotic arms Ash and Wake, and if you paid any attention to the Season of the Lost artifact, you'll notice that it's a great season to be playing Solar or Stasis. For the last couple months, I've felt like Titans are in a really bad spot in terms of just having an enjoyable build to play with. Of course, we've got the Thunder Crash exotic that makes us do bulk damage, but after using that for a couple seasons now, it just kind of starts to dry up. This build has made me fall in love with Titans all over again. It's great for casual content, and you can even dabble with it in high-end content, depending on what your fire team is running and if it complements the build at its core. If you're not familiar with Ash and Wake, it allows your fusion grenades to explode on impact. It also refunds grenade energy depending on how much damage or kills that you get with the grenade. It is a fantastic exotic that I feel like is completely overlooked in PvE. Since these grenades explode on impact, I feel like they've just turned into like little bombs. They are so strong and they just come in handy so well. Even without any stats or any mods going into this build, if you just ran the exotic by itself, it actually holds on its own pretty well. If you're throwing your grenade into a bunch of trash mobs, you're going to get most of that grenade energy back. So the idea of the build is that everything that I incorporate with the mods and everything else is just to complement the exotic that's already in a pretty good spot. To get this build going as effective as possible, you're going to want to run middle tree solar. This can work with top tree and bottom tree. I would highly suggest sticking to middle tree though because of that beautiful, beautiful hammer. I don't think anything in the top tree really gives you any benefits to running this exotic, although bottom tree does. You do create sunspots every time you get a grenade kill, which can regen all of your abilities. Although with the elemental wells and everything else included with the build, with the mods, etc., I don't think running bottom tree is worth your time. Alrighty, so let's have a look at why running middle tree is the way to go. First off, you get that hammer. The throwing hammer is one of the greatest things in the Titans arsenal. Basically what we're going to be doing with this build is we're going to be throwing our hammer in entry of the fight, and then we're going to be throwing our grenades. The idea is that our hammer will be generating wells as well as our grenades will be going in and picking it up. The hammer, although working with the grenades, is going to start generating roaring flames. Eventually we're going to get three stacks of roaring flames and we are going to be unstoppable with the grenades and with the hammer by our side. The super for the subclass is Burning Maul, and while the super isn't really important for the build, if you do get 3 stacks of Warring Flames, it does deal a lot of damage, and with some of the mods that we're running, it will help you get that super a little bit quicker so that you can use this on cooldown. And lastly, we have the Tireless Warrior perk, which is a passive perk to the subclass that gives us health back every single time we pick our hammer up after we've hit an enemy with it. So most of the time we're throwing our hammer to get a well, we're jumping back into the thick of it to pick up that hammer, but also it'll give us a little bit of health back, which is very nice for this build. Alrighty, now it's time we look at the good stuff, the mods. Earlier on I said that Ashen Wake holds on its own pretty well as an exotic piece, but the mods that we're going to use is going to enhance this exotic even more and make it an actual build. First up is Elemental Ordnance. Elemental Ordnance is going to let us create an elemental well based on a grenade kill. Makes sense because we're using a grenade exotic and we're going to be using grenades quite a bit. Next up is Explosive Wellmaker. Now I went into a lost sector and tested this fairly thoroughly to make sure that this is right. Now when we throw a grenade and we get a single kill, we will get a well from Elemental Ordnance. But with Explosive Wellmaker, if we get more than one kill with the same grenade, it will spawn a second elemental well because that second or third or fourth kill is classed as an explosion kill. So if you're throwing your grenade into a pack of mobs and you're getting a multi-kill, that will spawn two elemental wells each time. You can also see that on my helmet I'm running double ashes to assets, which allows you to get super energy every time you get a grenade kill. Because we're always throwing our grenade, we are going to be generating that super very quickly, which pairs nicely with the whole string when getting our roaring flames and dealing big damage. Next up is Melee Wellmaker. Lucky for us, our charge melee ability is our hammer, so every time we're getting a hammer kill, we are generating an elemental well. Like I said earlier in the video, if you are entering the fight by throwing your hammer and then throwing your grenade into a pack of enemies, that is three guaranteed elemental wells right there. I am also running double innovation mods on my legs. This isn't completely necessary, although it does reduce your grenade cooldown every time you pick up an orb of power. I just think it's a nice little passive to complement the build. Now for the fourth mod that really strings this build together nicely. It's Well of Ordnance. Now as you know, an elemental well will intrinsically give you energy back on your grenade. 
well of ordnance will give you extra grenade energy back so when we're entering the fight there's usually two or three elemental wells on the ground for us to pick up you can almost guarantee that your grenade is going to be back with that extra little bit of energy refund through the elemental wells because of this mod i'm also running double impact induction mods on my arms because every time you throw and deal damage with that hammer you are reducing your grenade cooldown if you can't see it happening already in front of you Basically, everything in this build is working towards getting that grenade energy back. Our wells and our hammer are going to be working hand in hand to making sure that our grenade is up all of the time. Now, the beauty with this is that you don't need to run the impact induction mods because sometimes we're going to need to slot in those anti-champion mods as well. If you're stringing the build along nicely, you probably won't need your hammer to refund any grenade energy, so don't fret if you need to put those champion mods on. Now, for the final part of the build, which is also my favorite because it's the most diverse part of the build, the mark. Now, as you can see on the screen, I've got three seasonal artifact mods on my mark, and they're all contributing towards taking down champions. The first mod here is Withering Heat. A solar ability is going to debuff champions. The second one is Thermoclastic Strike, where a solar melee ability will stun overload champions. The idea here is that we throw our hammer at an overload champion and it will get stunned, but it'll also get debuffed, allowing our fusion grenades with ash and weight to just finish them off. And lastly, the fire and ice mod. This spawns an array of elemental wells after defeating a champion. This is important for us because if we are using our hammer and then using our grenade, sometimes that grenade may not kill the champion. It'll be very close and that'll leave us with no grenade energy back. So we're going to rely on this mod to make sure that we get those wells so that we can refund our grenade back to continue the fight. Now the reason that this mark can be very diverse is because we're not always going to be fighting champions. Sometimes we just want to run the strike playlist or sometimes we just want to do something casual and we don't need any of these three champion mods on our mark. The alternative is running a separate mark. Now you can either change your mods as you go, but for me I find it easy just to have another mark with everything set up ready to go. The alternate mark that I run, if I know that I'm not going to encounter any champions, has got Particle Deconstruction, Bomber, and another Well of Ordnance on it. I find these three mods are a bit of a no-brainer. We all know why Particle Deconstruction is useful. Bomber will give us some grenade energy back every time we put up a barricade, and Well of Ordnance is going to give us a little bit more grenade energy back every time we pick up those wells. The beauty of this mod is that we can stack it two times to give us more energy, so why not? There aren't any weapons that are imperative to making this build successful, although I do recommend Salvage's Salvo. If you have Demolitionist and Chain Reaction on, it is the perfect gun to complement the build. Demolitionist is going to give us grenade energy back if we have for some reason whiffed our grenade, as well as Chain Reaction will actually spawn a well because of Explosive Wellmaker. So the gun does a lot of work for us, although if you don't want to use Salvage's Salvo, you can use anything with Demolitionist or something like Monte Carlo. But as I said earlier, none of these guns are really necessary to making the build work. Alrighty, let's jump into the stats. There's nothing here that you need to spec into super specifically, although there are a couple things that you can spec into to make your life a little bit easier when you're out there trying to get this build going. Some people would argue that you don't need any discipline for this build because if you do everything correctly, you're going to have that grenade up all the time. And they're right. Although for me, I like to play things on the safe side. I'm one person that would always whiff my grenade. I'll miss my single target, I'll miss my group of adds, and I'm going to be left without any grenade energy. There is a fix around this though. I can use my salvo, or I can use my hammer to generate wells to get that grenade energy back. I like to play things on the safe side though. I like my grenade up as quick as I can, even in the little bits of downtime that will occur with the build. So I've specced highly into discipline. The same thing could be said about strength though but I have decided not to spec into that. Instead, I've gone high recovery as well, just to make sure that my health is always coming back as quick as possible. You can spec into anything with this really, it's really up to you. I would recommend not specking into intellect because our grenades are going to generate super energy because of ashes to assets. So I would try and get your intellect as low as possible, as well as things like uh, mobility as well. I just don't feel like that's necessary when you can spec into some of those other important columns like recovery, resilience, and discipline for this. Let's wrap this up by talking about the synergy of the build and the pros and the cons that come with it. The synergy I find is incredibly effortless. We're throwing our hammer, we're throwing our grenades, we're generating wells. We've got our salvages salvo that's going to complement that. We're always going to have our grenade up. We're always going to have three stacks of roaring flames and our super is coming really fast. It's the ultimate build for running low to medium level content in Destiny. The pros, it's incredibly fun. You get to blow everything up 
you're also generating a lot of elemental wells for your teammates. When I was running some strikes with Rogi, he also had an elemental well build on, and with both of us generating wells, there was so many on the ground that my grenade was coming back even faster, even if I was whipping it. So if you are running them, you're going to be helping the fire team, and if they're running them, they're going to be helping you too. It creates the perfect synergy between all three players. Now there's only a couple cons to running this build, one of them is that it might not hold up in high end content. I ran it on some Master Nightfalls and I did try and take it into Master Vogue. The stunning of the champions works perfectly, but because of the light level differences, the fusion grenade doesn't impact them too much, even with that withering heat debuff. It might work if your fire team are also running something that can help you take down those champions, but I don't think it holds up too well in the end game activities at the moment. And now for the final drawback to the build, like anything, if you fail to string everything together, it will fail. There's been plenty of times where I enter the fight by throwing my hammer and I forget to pick it up. I'll then throw my grenade and then I try to use my hammer and I realize that I haven't picked it up and I'm waiting for both of the cooldowns. That is the worst place to be, but thankfully you can have your salvages salvo, you can put your barricade, you start getting that energy back in no time. So it's not really the end of the world. The way to think about it is that your hammer and your grenade are both generating wells. You need those wells to get that grenade energy back, otherwise the build doesn't work. It is fairly simple, it might take a little bit of getting used to, but after you realise that you have to chase that hammer with everything so that it can keep generating wells for you and your grenades, you're going to have an excellent time. And that concludes the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this elemental well ash and wake build. It is a ton of fun. If you end up giving it a go, please let me know in the comments how you're finding it. And if there's any mods that you think are better suited, I'd love to hear it. As always, take it easy, Guardians.